Triple demic of respiratory viruses, RSV, flu, and COVID, putting a real strain on the nation's pharmacies right now, including pharmacies here in the Triangle. Cindy Bay live outside, one of them. She's at Joseph's Pharmacy on Newburn Avenue in Raleigh. Cindy, this, this strain comes as health officials say these viral illnesses remain very high right now. Yeah, Joel, and UNC Health says on top of the usual winter illnesses, there are higher than historical flu and RSV numbers. We're already seeing the side effects of it in several stores. Some parents unable to find over-the-counter children's medications. If one goes down, we all go down. In a family of six, protection is crucial amid a winter triple-demic of respiratory viruses. We do interact not only with homeschool kids, but we have public school friends. And they're all sick all the time, so it's been really hard on them. The uptick of cases of RSV, flu, and COVID-19 resulting in a children's medicine shortage. From CVS and Walgreens limiting children's pain relief products and over-the-counter pediatric fever reducers online, to local pharmacies dealing with a particular demand. We're running low on um, amoxicillin suspensions. Amoxicillin is a antibiotic for um, strep throat and other sort of uh, respiratory infections. The combination of RSV and influenza has been particular problems among children. UNC Health's Dr. David Weber on alternative methods for parents who can't find the medicine they need. You can't put the child into uh, a lukewarm uh, uh, bath and, and cool them down. Putting them in light clothes uh, as opposed to heavy clothes and uh, will help reduce the fever. But if you can, supplements, diet is a huge thing. Getting exercise in if you can and try to boost your immunity the best way you can if you're unable to find those resources. And while there are no limitations here at Joseph's Pharmacy for over-the-counter children's medication, they say the additional time for items on back order is a big issue. So they're asking for patients as they say they're doing the best they can to get the drugs restocked. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.